living in Hartcliff is all right. You just get the kids or whatever around my age, some older, just wanting to get in trouble, wanting to go terrorise shops, wanting to go get in trouble because they have nothing else to do. So as we all know, youth provision um, has been hit severely over many years. It, for me, it just took the heart out of the work that was going on in local communities. Well, it, long term, it's devastating. I think we've seen it over and over again that communities which are neglected fall into all sorts of uh, health problems, mental health problems, social and family problems, and the cycle of self-destruction can set in if you're not careful. Uh, you know, drugs, alcohol abuse, all sorts of things can happen. We've developed a year-long programme called the Grassroot Activators Programme. And what happens at the end of all this is as simple as this. It creates a pathway for young people from 16 to 25 years old to find themselves in a situation where they've got enough confidence to grasp future opportunities and whatever that may be. With, with Grassroots Activators Programme, I just think it'd be of a real benefit now. The things that have worked really well in the past have been projects which have taken young people, given them a bit of responsibility, taken them out of the area and given them a basic set of skills, which, which are life skills. GAT would support the whole city um, and all providers across it just to focus in on the needs of young people that are often left off at the list and the many lists of opportunities. It'd be fantastic if we could develop some young community leaders, people who are really interested in the social and environmental aspects of their communities. I think businesses right across our city can get involved with the programme, including by providing um, mentors, by providing opportunities to experience, or indeed supporting, sponsoring opportunities for young people to get through, to get into the programme, ultimately to get to work, to start up, set up a business, to do an apprenticeship, lots of different ways for business to get directly involved, directly helping young people. And really pleased to be talking about the GAP programme today, which is really needed, uh, I think, under the framing of hope for young people in Bristol. And I'd hope that funders take notice and think about this programme very carefully. So you want to be the one to, to run and make the difference, to help somebody else make the difference in their life. We've got so many young people in this part of Bristol who have so many ideas and so many skills and so many talents to share and they just need the space and they just need somebody to believe in them and they just need the opportunities to kind of develop those skills. And I would love the opportunity to sponsor a young person from Southmead to go through the, the, the GAP programme because I feel that would um, enabled us to support somebody from the community to really develop life skills, um, develop confidence, and it would just be a great opportunity for us as a, as a trust and a great opportunity for that young person as well.